Hello and welcome to Messing About the Models. Today we're going to be making sure that our fish from Loch Doon can get to market. One of the major reasons for railways going into the highlands in the second half of the 19th century was to tap into the lucrative fish markets in the highlands and islands of Scotland. Now Loch Doon will be a large exporter of fish to the markets in Glasgow, Edinburgh and London. So we're going to need some fish vans to take that traffic and make sure that they're cool. The railway companies built specific vans for this traffic and we're going to be making a couple of wagons for them. These are the Parkside kits. I've got an LMS uh, six ton fish fan um, and also a British Railways fish fan, uh, a 12 ton fish fan, which is based on an LNER uh, design. I've also found an old kit of a fish fan, which hopefully we can make a third wagon out of, um, but we'll see what we can do as we go along. So let's head over to the workbench now. Right, so let's go over what we've got. I said I've recently bought a six ton. LMS, XLMS uh, fish van, which uh, it comes in the very latest packaging, lots of plastic. Um, also got um, an LNER, XLNER fish van, 12 ton fish van, um, which I've also been open and had a look at. Um, and this has got uh, transfers for uh, a number of the vans, which is helpful because I also found this packet, which is old style um, packaging back when it was Parkside Dundas. Um, and um, this, I think, is the same model kit as that. Um, and it looks like I've got all the bits for that. So we might see if we can make two uh, of those uh, vans. Uh, and make this one as well. And we'll maybe see if we can do slightly different versions of those because there are variations possible in the kit. I've also sorted out the couplings that we're going to need um, and obviously the usual plastic magic which will work. Uh, craft knife, cutters, file and also I've got a selection of paints. Now Reading the information about this van, even in BR days, apparently this did not wear um, BR bauxite, BR brown. It was painted in a uh, crimson colour. So uh, I've actually also got some crimson paint, Humbrol 423 there, which we'll use. It's maybe not exactly the right shade, but it um, will be a, a good representation. And I think obviously once... We've got a bit of weathering on that and dulled it down. It'll be fine. So let's put those out of the way there. And open up the six ton. I think this container, although I was complaining about the plastic element, I suppose it could be used for glazing or, or something else rather. Maybe useful in the spares box. The usual parkside setup, which is um, relatively good. Relatively good sides, the usual chassis, uh, roof and floor. And also got the um, got the transfers for the LMS six ton fish van. Um, which will, like I said, at least be a different type of van than the one that's, that we've, we've got. The instructions, I think, have been rewritten because they're, they're actually a little bit clearer, although I've never built an earlier version of this kit. Um, the instructions are actually a bit better laid out than they were previously, I think. Um, certainly when we come to look at the, the other kit, instructions uh, maybe not quite so well laid out so what we'll do is we'll start off um, it's 
assembling the sides and ends onto the floor. And because we've got three kits to build, what I'm going to try and do is, is do a bit of a batch build. So I'm going to do um, take the first stage of this one, then the first stage of the next two, and then hopefully by that point um, the glue will be have dried on these and I can then move on to the next stage. So uh, following the instructions, let's uh, prepare the let's prepare the floor and body sides for this one. Now, whilst we're waiting for that to dry, this kit, which is a very similar construction. This van came in different versions, one with roller bearings and one with oil bearings. So I'm going to make one of each for a bit of variety. These inside sliding doors are a bit fiddly and there was a bit of flash on the moulding which needed removing to get them to fit. Now on to doing the chassis of these wagons. All relatively straightforward especially if you've done parkside kits before but replacing the brake lever with wire was a bit fiddly. Well worth it though I think. This time I'm painting the roof separately and then fixing them once it's dry in an effort to get a better finish around the top of the body sides. Just a coat of grey, the roof will be weathered with some powders later. Now to paint the wagons themselves. First the XLMS 6 ton van. This is BAR crimson as used on non-passenger carrying coaching stock so it should be the right shade. Although it will be dulled down with some weathering. All the pictures of fish vans in traffic I've seen show them to be pretty mucky. I've already added some weight to these wagons, but look out for my video on the different ways of doing that.
Once these have been painted, it's time for adding the transfers and then weathering them. And here they are arriving at Loch Doon. Please subscribe for more videos, hit the like button and check out my other videos linked on screen.